Hi, I'm a ladybug. I won't hurt you. When members of my family land on people, they are good luck charms. We are a natural form of pest control, eating aphids, scale bugs, mealy bugs, spider mites, spiders, thrips, white flies, and fungus, plus a few other things. Farmers and gardeners like to see us. We are harmless to humans, and it only takes a small number of us to clear up plant infestations in just a few days. A single ladybug, like myself, can eat 50 aphids per day. My body is brightly colored, often red, orange, or yellow, with black spots. My color is a warning to predators, such as birds or frogs. I taste terrible. Don't eat me. And if you try, you're going to get sick. People call my family by different names. We are known as ladybugs in America and ladybirds in Great Britain. Scientists prefer to replace the word bug with beetle, since we are not true bugs, whatever that means. Males and females of my species are both called ladybugs. So why do people call the, us ladies? Well, the reason is not precisely known. One theory is that the name came about from our bright red shell, very often a bright red shell, which is similar to the red cloak that the Virgin Mary wears in many biblical paintings. People treat us with respect and kindness. I move so quickly that humans cannot easily see what I am doing. I can fly as fast as 37 miles per hour, so that you can see the world as I see it, I have asked Ken to slow the speed of this video to 10% of normal. I love to fly anywhere I want. I even love flying upside down and in circles. The cobwebby thistle near Ken's home provides a perfect habitat for me and my children. White hairs cover the leaves and branches. These hairs catch whatever is blowing in the wind. Pollen, mites, insects, and other tasty things. Another bonus, many insects and spiders use this plant to lay eggs. And you know eggs hatch. And yummy, yummy, yummy. Lots of ladybird food. Our life cycle is not much different from the life cycle of a butterfly. We lay eggs where food is plentiful and predators cannot easily find them, often under a leaf or a branch. Our eggs look like tiny yellow jelly beans. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae immediately start looking for food, such as small mites, aphids, or fungi. The larvae look like small, voracious alligators, and they eat like crazy. After growing for a few weeks, 
the larvae attach to a leaf and change into something that looks like a shrimp. They uh, sleep for several days while their body reorganizes into an adult ladybug. Simply amazing.